Hey everybody, welcome back, it's Sable. Today's video is a 10 minute Pilates abs and inner thigh workout. Now we do need a bender ball for this video. We're gonna be all on the mat. Let's get to it. I want you to start lying on your side here. Put the ball between your knees and then draw your knees in towards your hips, ankle, knee, and hip at 90 degrees. And we're gonna work off the clock here about 90, about one minute <laughs> each exercise. I was thinking about 90 degrees right there. One minute each exercise. So here, we're gonna squeeze, and I'm probably gonna say squeeze like 150 times in this video, but that should be your focus, okay, to activate your inner thighs. You really want this muscle right here to pull up into the leg. So squeeze and contract, make that tight. Think of an accordion, think of a spring, pull it together. Now we're working Pilates bar style here on the mat. Engage your abs. Go ahead and pull those belly buttons into our backs tight here. So there's always some bonus core work in every Pilates and bar <laughs> video because you're working to stabilize through your middle the whole time. And let's hold this contraction for three, for two, for one. We're gonna take an oblique crunch right here. So we're gonna lift up onto our elbow with this side supporting us, hand out strong. Other arm here, and then pull the knees up, lower down. This is not about how fast you can go, this is about controlling that leg lift and that crunch in on the side of your body. You do have the option to leave the legs down and just make this a tiny squeeze right here. So take the option that works for you, join me here if you can. I love this move for targeting the side of your body right here. If you want to chisel out lines on the sides, you've got to do moves like this. Isolate. Control. Here we go. Lifting and lowering. And give me one more. Perfect. I'm going to switch sides. Two sides of the body, we want it to be even. And we're gonna lay all the way back down here. Ball goes back between the knees, pulling up to 90 degrees and squeezing, squeezing up and in, okay? Now we want you to focus on this side. That inner thigh pulling up into the leg, pull it down, push it down right here. Any extra pressure that you can apply with your mind is gonna help you wake up these muscles, target these muscles. Don't forget, keep your toes turned out right here. That puts your work from the inner thigh, sorry, from the heel up through the middle of the leg into the inner thigh. Every little position tip matters. Keep it squeezing. And we're gonna hold it down here for three, for two, and one, perfect. Sit up, support with that elbow. Other arm is coming up. You know what we're doing. We're doing that crunch on this side here. And take it down. So try and keep your legs bent. You might open up just a little bit on the way down. That's fine. Control it out. Beautiful. I am loving this move. Don't forget, if you need the option, lay down here, okay? Pull up if you can. And we're almost there. Give me two more. Two. And one. Well done. We're gonna take this onto our back right here. Leave the ball right between the knees. Peel it back. And we're gonna do a bridge, pulse, and squeeze, okay? So lift, squeeze. 
squeeze, down. Lift, squeeze, down. Up, knees together. All right, focus in tight, lower down. So we are going on our fifth minute of working with this bender ball between the inner thighs. And I'll tell you what, the bender ball is magic. You could do this move without, and it just doesn't do it the same way. Go ahead and get, you should try to, try to do it without and do it with the ball. Let me know how you feel the difference in the comments below this video. Keep your hips lifted and squeezes on that ball. Just the squeezes in tight, holy inner thigh, firing up right here for three, for two, for one. Lower the hips down towards the floor, pull the knees up. Heels are coming back together again at the top of that first position and you pull in, push out. Pull in, push out. So like you're pressing an imaginary door away from you or imaginary weights balanced right there on your heels. The knees come in towards your chest and then out over the hips. In towards your chest, out over the hips. And I've got some really deep inner thigh burn right here. You should too right now if you're doing this correctly. Keep that push and pull right here. We're gonna do one more just like this. And then keep the knees soft. Take that squeeze here. You should be shaking through your legs for three and two and one. Nice work. Tuck that ball right behind your left knee. Right leg is gonna stay straight and you're gonna alternate lifting and lowering. So this takes a little bit of brain power, okay? Thinking about which leg is doing what. Pull everything here into the mat for me. And then I wanna know if you can point your toe harder. Can you shoot more energy out through both of your legs? We are almost there, stay with me. One more here, perfect. Keep that left leg lifted with the ball, squeeze your leg in. So try and pull your calf in towards your hamstring. Pull and pull. Three and two and one. And we're gonna switch sides. So left leg goes out long, right leg bending around that ball. And now, since you just figured out how to do it on the other side, we're gonna figure out how to do it on this side. Switching legs, both toes pointed. All that energy that's building right here, push it out. Almost there. Lifting and lowering. Dig into your breath right here. And out. Good. All right. One more. Keep that right leg up. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Can you see how much I'm exaggerating that contraction? Pull that leg in. Here. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Nice work. Extend that leg. We're gonna take this bender ball and put it up here, right between your shoulder blades and your middle back, all right? So play around with your position right here. And then you're gonna support your head. So make like a little basket with your hands, support your head. 
open over that ball. Nice chest stretch. In. Beautiful open and then get ready to crunch it up here. So don't pull on your head, just support. Contract through those upper abs. And control it when you lower down. I'm smiling because it's working. <laughs> Are you smiling? Can you do this with a smile on your face? All right, sit up here, tuck that ball in. Let me see back just a little bit. Tuck that ball into your low back as close as you can get it below your tailbone. Okay, so it's kind of on this big part of your hips above your booty. Roll the shoulders up, down, and back. Open the palms, press back, lift up, press back, lift up. So we're pulling back here, lifting, pulling. Oh, yes. This is your last minute of this 10 minute workout. Who says you can't get a killer burn in 10 minutes? If anybody tries to tell you that, you make sure you send them my way. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do that after the end of this video so that you can join me here because new videos are loaded every week. We're almost there, keep going. Push it back for me. Keep that pull happening here. Hold. Three, two, one. Perfect. All right, y'all. If you love this workout, like this video for me. If you would like to know how to get a longer workout, this 10 minutes goes really well with my other 10 minute Pilates arms and abs. 20 minutes on the mat, guaranteed to leave you shaking. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.